morning, beautiful people. My name is Kevin Flynn. This is Taylor Johnson. Uh, Taylor will be demoing our practice for us today. I'll be leading you through it. We're working on neck and shoulders today. A lot of us have been spending copious hours on our cell phones, or maybe you're reading, or maybe you're still driving even through um, this quarantine life. Regardless, we start to find kind of this hunched up shape and I'm guilty of it too. That's why we do this practice so that we can help alleviate some of that tension in our neck and shoulders. The intention of our practice today is to let go of any weight that we're carrying that is preventing us from being our fullest self. And I'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. For our practice today, prop wise, we will utilize a strap. You can also use a dog leash, a towel, a shirt, uh, anything that allows a little bit of drop mat, would you mind handing me the strap? Thank you. And we want to have a little bit of room between our hands. When we find this grip uh, behind our back, it's pretty difficult to bring fingertips together, so having a uh, strap or any other prop will make this a little bit more accessible. If you also want a block or a towel or a blanket to sit on, uh, we will be sitting for the first few minutes of our practice today, so anything that allows your seated position to be the most comfortable, um, go ahead and collect those things. I'm really excited that you're here today. Thank you for uh, making time for your practice. Let's get started. We'll begin in an upright seated position. Again, if you want to sit on top of a pillow or a blanket, make this as comfortable as you can. Let your hands rest downwards on your knees. Press your sit bones into the floor, lengthen your spine. Relax your neck and shoulders as much as you can. If there are any final adjustments that you need to make to your space, go ahead and make those adjustments. We'll start tuning into our breath. Many of us are doing our yoga practice because we're seeking change of some sort. Whether it is seeking change in our mind, if we want it to be more quiet, if we want our mind to be more disciplined um, or patient. Maybe we're here because we want to change something about our body, like make it stronger or more uh, flexible, um, more balanced. But a lot of times we are attempting to change even as we have a full cup. So if you can ever remember the last time that you had a full to-do list, maybe this was just yesterday, but if you have so much on your plate, it's very difficult to invite new habits or new ways of being into our lifestyle. This is a practice that I have to work on myself. It's like we start to carry on maybe even energy of other people or just carrying the weight of the world on our shoulders. And that leaves less room and less energy for ourselves to make the progress that we want to make within our own practice or in our own life. So as we move throughout our practice today, I invite you to just let go a little bit more Maybe you let go of trying to control your mind. Or maybe you let go of trying to be a certain way within your physical poses. And just be with whatever change presents itself. If that intention speaks to you well, excellent. If you feel like you need something else from your practice today, go ahead and find that intention here. Let's start with six cleansing breaths. Breathe as deep as you can in through your nose. Out of your mouth. Again, deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Fill especially your belly with air. Fill up your belly and then let it radiate up towards your chest. Exhale, let it go. Three more rounds on your own.
for the last two rounds. Try to relax any unnecessary tension in your neck or your shoulders. Last one. And we'll start warming up through our neck and shoulders so that we can find more flexibility. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Turn your palms down. Exhale, release your hands back down by your sides. Activate all 10 of your fingers. Inhale, sweep out and up. Keep the top of your shoulders plugged down into shoulder sockets. Exhale, flip your hands down, palms to the sides. One more time. Inhale, sweep out and up. Exhale, palms down. This time have cupcake hands or just have your fingertips on the floor, palms off of the mat. As you inhale, press down into the floor with your fingertips. Again, palms are off the mat. As you exhale, dip right ear to right shoulder. Keep your spine as straight as possible. The only thing we want curving over here is our neck. Now drop both of your shoulders down away from your ears and keep sitting upright as tall as possible. Nice adjustment, Arnie. Let's stay for one more full breath. Stay here and start making circles with your nose. I like to imagine that I'm drawing on a chalkboard in front of me with my nose, like they made me do when I was in first grade and I was being naughty and they had me draw circles on the chalkboard with my nose. I'm just kidding, that never happened. Go ahead and reverse directions at the top of your circle. Just go counterclockwise. So we're still with right ear to right shoulder. Shoulders are away from your ears. Nice, Andrea. Inhale, bring your head back to center. And exhale, dip your chin towards your chest and shake your head no. This just helps relax and reset our cervical spine. Inhale, come back to sitting tall. And exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Keep your spine as straight as possible. Imagine mountain pose from your waist to your shoulders. And then the only thing dropping over here is your neck. We'll start with those circular motions with our nose again. Katie, try dropping your shoulders a little bit further towards the floor. Perfect, you got it. And then at the top of your circle, reverse directions. And you can take these as small or as large as you want, as long as you feel like you're being thorough with the motion. Good. Inhale, bring your head back to center. And exhale again, tip, tip your chin towards your chest. Inhale, back to center. And one more time, dip right ear to right shoulder. This time, bring your right hand up and over your head to your left ear. And allow the weight of your arm to apply a deeper stretch. Now, if you want more out of this stretch, you can bring your left hand for your right trouser pocket, like Taylor is doing in the, uh, in the film here. And if you want to really change it up, you can reach your left hand out to the left side of the room for a deeper stretch. Stay for one more full breath. <sighs> Inhale, come back to center. And exhale, just take a moment to do anything that your neck wants to do, maybe chin to chest, or maybe taking some circles with your head. Beautiful free movement, everyone. Inhale back to center, and exhale left ear to left shoulder. This time bring your left hand up and over to your right ear. And for the first two breaths, breathe as deep as you can, relax your shoulders away from your ears, and just let or allow your neck stretch to happen. If you made a variation on the first side, maybe right hand comes to left trouser pocket or right hand can extend out to the side of the room. Two full breaths here. Last round. Unwind, inhale, sweep your arms out and up overhead. Draw hands to heart center and set your intention for your practice today. Maybe you are ready to pour out some of your full cup or let some weight off of your shoulders, either physically or spiritually. Or maybe there's something else that you need from practice. Take a full breath with whatever it is that you need. Open mouth, exhale. One more time like you really mean it. Fill yourself with this intention. Oh, 
open mouth, share it with the world, let the world receive your intention, bow your forehead to fingertips. Thank yourself for making time for your practice today. And let's roll to tabletop position. At this time, we will start our Spotify playlist. If you haven't done so already, the playlist is called Yoga 2020 Triumph. And the first song is called The Opening. We're starting and pl pressing play in five, four, three, two, press play. From tabletop, just take some freestyle movement. We'll spend 30 seconds or here just moving in any way that your body wants to move. Cat, cow, maybe you're moving side to side or forward and back. There's not a right or wrong way to do it. And maybe you even close your eyes here so that you can just move with an intuitive sense of following sensation in your body. Another 15 seconds or so. So if you're doing a two-sided pose, go ahead and find the second side. And as we set up back into neutral spine, let's start by embodying the intention that you're setting for practice. Whatever it is that you're working with today, let's find it right here, right now. With your next inhale, drop your belly, lift your chin, send your gaze upwards towards the ceiling. Exhale, arch your back, round chin towards your chest, press your hands deep into the floor. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chin, rotate your hips a half inch higher, drop your belly a little bit further, and exhale, arch your back, chin to chest, press your hands vigorously into the floor, look at your own belly button. Good, one more time. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chin, this time send your gaze a little bit higher upwards, beautiful Taylor, and exhale, arch your back, round chin to chest, tuck your toes, lift your hips, and find your way into your first downward facing dog. And again, let's spend 30 seconds just feeling out the first downward dog. Maybe you drive one heel to the floor and lift the other. Maybe you take a few hops or some hip dips to the side, whatever feels good. As we move throughout our practice today and every day that we practice yoga, just remember that it is my job as the instructor to lead you through a safe sequence of postures. But if you ever feel pain or if you feel like you just need to skip or take a break at any time, remember that's on you. I will offer up modifications as we go, but always feel free to leave out any postures that don't feel right to you. With your next inhale, shift forward to high plank. We'll pause here for three breaths. I want you to shift forward, shift back, shift left, and shift right. Just a little micro movement so that you can feel how your limbs are attached to your core. Last inhale, shift forward. Slowly lower to the floor with your exhale. We'll start off with low cobra, no arm strength. Hands by your lower ribs. Inhale, float your chest off the floor. Float your hands, maybe. Draw your elbows and shoulders back. And exhale, release down. Two more just like that. Inhale, lift high, press the tops of your feet downward. Beautiful, and exhale, release down. One more time, inhale, lift up. Maybe you begin pressing into your hands just a little bit, and exhale, release down. Inhale to high plank or tabletop, lift up. And back to downward dog, exhale. Full breath into your nose. Out of your mouth, exhale. Inhale, shift forward to high plank. Lower halfway or all of the way. Your choice, cobra or up dog. Maybe your thighs float off the floor. Beautiful, Taylor, and exhale, move to downward facing dog. Nice way to throw some neck stretches in story, and we're headed that direction. Inhale, shift forward to high plank. This time, lower all of the way to the floor, and set up super cobra. If you haven't done Super Cobra before, we want for our hands to be a little bit wider than our mat with our elbows stacked on top of our wrists. Cupcake hands. Again, I say cupcake hands because we imagine that there's a cupcake underneath and we don't want to touch the icing. As you inhale, press down into the floor, lift your chest up for Super Cobra. And exhale, dip your right shoulder down, pull your left shoulder back. We're staying for a full breath. Breathe into your chest. Take it a little bit deeper with your exhale. Inhale back to center, lift high, press down, 
and exhale, dip left shoulder down, pull right shoulder back. Stay for a full breath into your chest and out of your belly. Inhale, lift back up as high as you can. Breath to movement. Exhale, dip right shoulder down, left shoulder back. Switch, good. Inhale, center, lift high. And again, left shoulder down, right shoulder back. One more to each side on your own. Beautiful, Tulia. Way to respect your practice last round. Back to center with your inhale and release to the floor with the exhale. High plank or tabletop, inhale, lift. Back to downward dog, exhale. Now that we've started warming up our neck and shoulders, let's bring some strength in. Inhale, send your gaze forward. Exhale, step or float to the top of your mat, your choice. Find a bent knee, halfway lift, lengthen your spine, reach the crown of your head forward. And exhale, forward fold, draw your nose towards your shins, create compression here. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen as far as you can. And exhale, fold, draw your nose towards your shins. For the last round, really focus on your breath. Inhale, lengthen, breathe as deep as you can. And exhale, fold, draw your nose towards your shins. Compress and exhale every drop of air. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep your arms out and up. Grab your left wrist, bring your feet together and pull yourself to the right side of the room for side bend. Back to center with your inhale. Switch hands and pull up into the left with your exhale. Center, inhale, gentle back bend. Cactus your arm, first back bend of the practice, take it slow. Inhale, mountain reach high. Hands through center to forward fold, long spine. Beautiful, everyone, nice, Martha. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float back. High to low, plank, elbows, hug as you lower. Up, dog or cobra, draw your heart through. And exhale, move to downward facing dog. Full breath in. Open mouth. Okay, traditional sun A with the side bend and cactus. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Mountain, inhale, sweep high. Grab your left wrist, pull to the right as far as you can. Center, inhale. Switch and pull to the left, exhale. Center, inhale. Back bend, tongue out. Mountain, inhale. Hands through center to forward fold, long spine. Halfway lift, full inhale. Plant your hand, step or float back high to low. Up dog or cobra, draw your heart through. And exhale back to downward facing dog. Lift your right leg to the sky. Tap knee to nose, exhale. Inhale, lift. Tap right shoulder, exhale. Inhale, lift. Left shoulder, add a little twist for your torso. Inhale, lift and step through your hands. Set up warrior two straight out of the gate. Open up as you are ready, but remember there is no rush to find this first warrior two. If you need to make any adjustments to your stance, to your clothing, to your hair, go ahead and make those things happen so that we can focus on the rest of our practice. In warrior two, be sure that your front heel is in alignment with the bridge of your back foot. Soften the grip in your toes, but press your feet vigorously into the floor. Close your eyes. Scan your body. Where are you holding on to unnecessary weight? Typically for me, it's in neck and shoulders, but maybe it's in your wrists or your hips. Find reverse warrior. Inhale, right palm flips. Bring it to side angle with your exhale. Bring right elbow to right inner thigh. Extend your left arm up and over. Breathe here. Press vigorously into the pinky edge of your left foot. Feel that extension going all the way through your left side body. Deepen your breath for two more. Are you at your edge? And if you are at your edge, 
Can you also soften somewhere to make it more sustainable? Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg, press the mound of your right big toe into the floor, and find your way to triangle, pull right hip back, reach right hand forward, pull and reach, 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 and then hinge yourself down. Nice form, Taylor. Looking strong, everyone. We're here for three breaths. Focus on putting equal pressure into both feet. Attempt to rotate your left hip back and your right hip under, left shoulder back and right shoulder under. One more breath. Inhale, five-pointed star. Open up to the side of the room. Shake your hips side to side. Shake out all of your joints. Good, and find your way into horse stance. Draw hands to heart center. Turn your toes out towards the sides of the room. And for this first horse, just maybe move around a little bit through your neck, through your shoulders. If you're listening to some music, maybe you've got some bobs here. And Taylor's demoing is exactly where we're going. <laughs> so <laughs> you're totally fine. So here we are with our hands at our knees, or rather uh, our inner thighs, thumbs on inner thighs, that is. Good, now with your inhale, shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. And as you exhale, dip your right shoulder down, pull your left shoulder back. We're staying for one full breath here. Take your hips a little bit deeper, make your twist deeper. Inhale back to center and exhale, switch it out. Left shoulder down, right shoulder back. Send your gaze past your right shoulder, full breath here. Take it deeper, back to center. We're taking that breath to movement. Exhale, dip right shoulder down, pull left shoulder back. Beautiful, everyone. Again, inhale, center, and exhale, left shoulder down, right shoulder back. Inhale, five-pointed star, get big. Exhale, cartwheel to the top of your mat. Roll to left side plank, roll to your left side. Wave your right arm to the sky. Flex your, uh, flex your toes towards your shin. Press your feet into the floor to lift your hips a little bit higher. Those of you wanting less of a challenge, maybe drop your left knee if you need some support for balance. If you want more, try lifting your top leg. If you still want to balance a balance challenge, send your gaze up towards the ceiling. Any variation goes, let's hold for two more breaths. I know we've been here for a while, but there was an eight hour forearm plank record that was just broke about a month ago, so 30 seconds isn't gonna hurt us here. Let's lower down to forearm plank as you exhale. Woo, yeah, spicy. Just one breath here. And drop to a sphinx pose with your exhale. Drop your hips to the floor. Be sure that your elbows are underneath your shoulders. As you inhale, press your forearms into the floor. And as you exhale, pull your forearms back towards the back of the room. Inhale, press your forearms down. Exhale, pull forearms back. Last breath here. Good, lower to crocodile pose. Stack your uh, hands and let your forehead rest on your hands. Breathe here for two. Surrender any tension in your neck or your shoulders. Okay, just one round of locust pose. Bring your hands by your hips with your palms facing down. With your next inhale, lift everything up. Inhale, raise. Fingertips reach to the back of the room. Toes reach two. Space between your neck and your shoulders. Breathe. I like to have gaze forward and down here. So think length in the back of your neck. Last two breaths, go higher if you want to. Fullest expression. Exhale, release, send your gaze to the right side of the room. And then for a deeper neck stretch, just turn your gaze a little bit further to the right. We are rolling to open wing on the left side. Extend your left arm out to the left side of the room and roll open to your left side body. Good modification, Tulia, you're on top of it. Kick your right foot around to the left side of the room. Good. For this variation, I want to have a bit of activity in our arms. So think of with your left arm, 10% effort pressing down. 10% means we're just pressing down enough that we can feel activation in our pec and in our shoulder. Now as you inhale, fill your chest as deep as you can. 
Breathe out of your shoulder, elbow, wrist, and fingertips. Inhale, fill your chest with air. Take an extra sip in. Exhale, breathe out of shoulder, elbow, wrist, and fingertips. Two more breaths. Inhale, fill your chest. Two sips of air. Breathe out of your shoulder, elbow, wrist, and fingertips. Take it a little bit deeper. This is our last round. Inhale, fill your chest. Three sips of air. Exhale, breathe out of your shoulder, elbow, wrist, and fingertips. Take it to your edge. And then lower back down to your belly. Both hands by your hips, palms up. Gaze to the left side of the room, right ear to the floor, and then turn your head 10% further to the left. This is just a good variation when we turn our head further to increase the range of motion for our neck. It's great for a lot of us that have strange sleeping positions. A lot of times I like to sleep on my belly, and for eight hours that's not the greatest thing to do to look towards one way. Anyway, what I'm getting at here is this is a great way to help reset your neck if maybe you sleep in weird positions, like myself. As you're ready for the second side of open wing, reach your right arm all the way out to the right side of the room. Option to goal post your arm if you need more sensation. Go ahead and roll open to your right side. And first, just play around with it, especially if this is your first time doing this pose. Maybe try a few different angles of your arm, a few degrees of uh, angle, or do, uh, change here in our shoulder rotation, I guess is what I'm getting at, can make a huge difference in the sensation that you're receiving in your pec and your shoulder. Okay, and let's start to mix in our deep breaths and just notice how as we deepen our breath, the sensation becomes more vibrant. Inhale, fill your chest. Breathe out of your shoulder, elbow, wrist, and fingertips. Again, fill your chest, extra sip of air. Breathe out of shoulder, elbow, wrist, and fingertips. Last two breaths, fill up, two sips of air. Exhale all the way out, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and fingertips. Great job, everyone. Last round, inhale, fill, three sips of air. And breathe out. Lower back down to your belly. Nicely done, everyone. Press back to embryo pose. Child's pose is just as good as well. Embryo is with knees and feet together. Sip your hips towards your heels and allow yourself to absorb the counter stretch for the back of our heart. If you have a hard time sitting your hips to your heels, maybe put a blanket between uh, your knee crease. If your forehead doesn't reach the mat, you can always prop it up with a block or pillow. Okay, it might not seem like there's a lot happening here, but we just did a deep heart opening for each side of our body. Now this is just a gentle counter stretch for that to reset. The way that we can deepen the sensation here is via our breath. So fill the back of your heart with air. Three sips of air. Exhale out. Last round, inhale, fill. Three sips of air. All the way out. Inhale, find your way to tabletop. Exhale, back to downward dog. <laughs> and there's no rush, everyone, but whenever you feel ready, we'll meet in downward dog. And let's tune back in. If you're feeling like a slippery noodle or a jelly donut right now, let's tune back into this powerful breathing. We just did some relaxing poses, but we still have a bit of warrior two and eagle headed our way. So with your next inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Knee to nose vigorously. Inhale, lift. Left shoulder, exhale. Lift, inhale, right shoulder, exhale, inhale, lift, exhale, step through, set up warrior two stance. There is no rush, only open when you feel ready. 
Everyone look down at your feet. Make sure that your heel is in alignment with the bridge of your back foot. Be sure that your left toes are facing directly forward and that your left knee is stacked over your left ankle. If your knee collapses towards the center, we're losing power in our inner thigh. So if you can roll your left knee open to the left side, we wanna have knee towards pinky edge of your foot. Deepen your breath. Close your eyes. Soften. Imagine that you are strong like the Golden Gate Bridge, but you're also flexible enough that when a huge gust of wind comes, that you're able to sway and adapt to that motion. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle, left elbow to left inner thigh. Extend your right arm up and towards either the top of your space or towards the front of the room. Press vigorously the pinky edge of your right foot into the floor and keep that extension going through your right calf, thigh, glute, ribs, shoulder, and wrist. Deepen your breath for two. Deepest expression for one. Reverse triangle, inhale straight in your front leg, press the mound of your left big toe downward. And exhale for triangle, pull left hip back, left hand forward, reach, 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 and then hinge down when you can't reach any further. First, press both feet downward into the floor. We wanna keep a micro bend in your left knee so that we keep power in the muscles, not tension in the joints. Left hip under, right hip back. Left shoulder under, right shoulder back. Full breath. Big transition, inhale, five-pointed star. Take it slow. Any freestyle movement that you want to take. I like to move around in all of the joints. Take some circular movements here. And again, let's find our way into goddess stance or horse. All right, slow your breath, soften the grip in your toes. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Eagle bind, wrap right arm underneath left. Good, breathe here and sink deep in your squat. Pull your elbows downwards. Deep in your breath. Soften the grip in your toes, bring more weight into your heels. Inhale, release your arms, sweep out and up, straighten your legs. Exhale, left arm under right. Good. Squeeze your palms, your elbows, and your uh, shoulders together. Deepen your breath for two. Soften the grip in your toes. Draw your knees back towards your ankles. Inhale, five-pointed star. Get big. Exhale, cartwheel to the top of your mat. Roll to right side plank. Roll open to your right side when you feel ready. We're here for about six rounds of breath, so take it slow if you need to. Option to have your bottom knee grounded or lift your top leg or gaze to the ceiling. Any variation is good. Deepen your breath for three. For this expression, lift all the way up. Exhale, lower, high to low plank, go through your flow. Up dog or cobra, inhale. To down dog, exhale. Full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Okay, we're going through that same flow, this time breath to movement. And we'll go for chest expansion as, as our static hold as we go for our wide leg fold. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Knee to nose just one time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step through. Warrior two, open up. Take it right into side angle with your exhale. Elbow to inner thigh, extend your left arm over. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg. Exhale for triangle. We're holding static for three full breaths. If there are any variations, 
that you'd like to take, like a half bind or half moon. If you want to balance on one leg, you still have one more breath to explore. Inhale, five-pointed star. Open up to the side of the room. Shake out your hips. Good. And go for a chest expansion. Hands together behind your back. If you have difficulty bringing your hands together, option to use a strap, towel, or anything else to bring your hands together. Pigeon toe your feet so toes are in, heels are out. As you inhale, send your gaze to the sky. Squeeze everything together. And exhale, dive down between your legs. The top of your head goes towards the floor as your arms reach up and over. We're here for four breaths. If you feel drawn to find explorative movement, maybe a side lunge, maybe nodding your head yes and no, just do whatever feels good. Last two rounds of breath. Breathe with me. Release hands to lower back and then to the floor. Find a halfway lift. Inhale. Walk your hands to the front of your mat. Option for side plank or go through your flow, high to low, where we'll explore for three full breaths. Meet in downward dog. Here we go, left leg high, inhale, lift. Knee to nose one time. Lift, inhale. Step through, exhale, set up warrior two, best you can. Inhale, open up. Side angle, exhale. Reverse triangle, inhale. Triangle, exhale, hip back, hand forward, reach, reach, reach. Beautiful. We're here for three long breaths. Breathe with me. Variations, you're welcome to go there. Still here for two more. One. Five pointed star. Inhale, open up to the side of the room. Chest expansion again. This time, go opposite thumb on top of what you normally do. Pigeon toe your feet. Inhale, squeeze everything together. Heart up, gaze up. And exhale, dive down between your legs. The top of your head goes towards the floor. Four breaths here. Again, if you haven't tried out a side lunge yet, maybe break out a little side lunge for inner groin stretch. Just do whatever feels good though. Two more breaths with me. One. Hands to lower back to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Walk your hands to the front of your mat. Option for side plank or high to low plank with your flow. Anything goes here. You have two more rounds of breath. Beautiful, everyone. Now for our balance practice. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float to the top. Beautiful float. Tay, find a halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. I'll have Tay turns towards the camera. Inhale, chair pose. Sweep yourself up for chair. I like to have big toes and knees touching. Heels with a two inch gap. We're going right into eagle pose. Wrap right arm underneath left. Sink your hips a little bit lower. Soften the grip in your toes and lift your right leg up and over your left. First, focus on your upper body. Squeeze your elbows and your palms together. I like to lift elbows here. Squeeze your hips, your thighs, your knees, and your calves. Make this uncomfortable. Good news, everyone. We're here for five breaths. Squeeze tighter with each exhale. Each inhale, focus on getting tall through your waist. If there are any variations that you'd like to find, like eagle crunch, or flying your eagle by kicking your right leg to the back of the room. Go for it here. We're here for three more rounds. Last two. If you haven't found your edge yet, what are you waiting for? Last breath. Inhale, mountain, sweep out, shake it out. Straight into the second side, left arm underneath, right. 
sink low, soften the grip in your toes. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, wrap it up and over. First, before finding the depth of the pose, I want you to focus on having good alignment. Pull your left hip back and your right hip forward. Good, and now start squeezing your shoulders, elbows, wrists. Squeeze your hips, your knees, and your calves. Deep in your breath. If you're having difficulty with balancing, keep your gaze at one point. You have three rounds of breath to find variations. If you chose to crunch it down or fly your eagle, we're here for two. One. Inhale, mountain pose. Return, sweep up. Swan dive to the floor. Exhale, lead with your heart. Hinge from your hips. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen. Plant your hand, step or float back. High to low plank, elbows hug as you lower. Up dog or cobra to downward dog, exhale. Full breath in, open mouth. Inhale, gaze forward, exhale, step or hop to the top and we're gonna come into a seated position at the top of our mat. Go ahead and locate your strap, your towel, anything else that you have been utilizing. I'll have, um, I'll have Taylor turn towards the back of the room and I'll face forward. The mural, or... Yeah, I'll have you face the mural. So we're setting up cow face pose with an arm bind variation. So first we'll set up cow face. If you're like me and you have tight hips, sitting on top of a prop is going to be very helpful for us. Bring your right heel into your left glute and bring your left heel into your right glute. If this isn't happening for you today, if cow face isn't happening, you can also find this variation from half pigeon. Bring your right knee behind your right wrist and right ankle behind left if that is the case. If you're ready for cow face, pull your feet a little bit closer towards the back of the room and then sit tall. This is layer one, you're welcome to stay here. If you're in half pigeon, you're welcome to just go for half pigeon. If you're ready for layer two, We'll bring the strap up and over with our right hand. And with our left hand, we'll bring our left hand behind our back. Now grab the strap with both hands. Bring your right elbow as high up towards the ceiling as you can and try to point your left elbow towards the floor. Once you have found the grip in your strap, start pulling upwards with your right hand and pull downwards with your left hand. This is creating a counter movement here it should be a nice stretch and strengthening for our shoulders. Now you have the option to sit upright here, or if you feel drawn to folding over, only do that if it adds to your posture, not if it prevents you from going deeper though. While we are here, it's six rounds of breath. I want you to focus not only on using the pull in your arms, but also surrendering your upper body over your legs. Five breaths. Last two rounds. Deep in your breath. Inhale, lift your torso. If it's down, go ahead and release the strap gently. Woo! Give your arms a little shake out if you need to. Move through your legs. I'm gonna recommend reverse tabletop for our counter stretch. You're welcome to go wherever you feel drawn to though. If you're ready for reverse tabletop, go ahead and lift your hips like you're going for tabletop except for it's belly up this time. Full breath. Good. And then when we're ready for the second side, I know we're so excited about it. Go ahead and bring your left heel into your right glute and your right heel into your left glute. So we should have left knee on the bottom, right knee on top. If you chose pigeon pose on the first side, go ahead and set up pigeon on the left side. First, sit tall. Make sure your legs are where you want them. And then as you are ready, bring the left hand up and over your head. 
with the strap, towel, or any other prop that you've got. Right hand meets the strap, and first you start by pulling. We want left elbow upwards, right elbow downwards. Now that you've got the strap and you're ready to pull, sit tall and maybe start to forward fold. I personally like to stay upright for this variation, but it's up to you. I'm gonna breathe with you for six rounds of breath. If something feels funky to you, just keep adjusting until something feels right. And I say funky, that doesn't mean we wanna be comfortable in this pose, but funky might mean that maybe you feel imbalanced in your hips or your shoulders, or maybe you feel a twinge of pain. We don't want imbalance and we don't want pain, so some exploration here can be good. Last three rounds of breath, can you go deeper? Last round. Inhale, lift your torso. Exhale, unwind your arms and your legs. Any counter stretch that feels good to you, reverse tabletop, windshield wiper your legs. Do anything that feels good. And we'll explore for three rounds. All right, find your way laying down on your back for happy baby pose. Grab your feet. I like to have hands on the outside of feet here, elbows on the inside of legs. Press your feet into your hands and your hands into your feet. A little bit of action here for our arms. Good, breathe here for a moment. Can you sink your lower back further towards the earth? All right, set up bridge pose. We'll go through a few rounds of dynamic bridge, just meaning with the inhale, we'll lift hips and arms, and with the exhale, we'll lower hips and arms. Make sure that you can graze the back of your heels with your middle fingers and that knees and feet are hip distance apart. Here we go. Inhale, lift your hips and your arms. Exhale, lower hands and hips down. Inhale, lift your hips, sweep your arms to the floor behind you. Exhale, lower hands and hips back down. Three more rounds, we're gonna slow it down. Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four. Inhale, lift. We're taking a sip of air at the top and hold for three, two, one, exhale, lower, four, three, two, one. Last round, inhale, lift, four, three, two, three sips of air, hold for five, four, three, two, slowly lower all of the way down. Beautifully done, everyone. Hug your knees into your chest, give yourself a gentle squeeze. And we're taking this for supine twist. We didn't do very many twists this practice, so we'll spend three full breaths here. Extend your left leg to the front of the room. Hug your right knee into the right side of your ribs for wind removing pose. Squeeze as tight as you can for a full breath. Inhale, bump your hips to the right and drop your knee across to the left side of the room. Try your best to seal your right shoulder to the mat. Imagine that there are 10 leprechauns underneath your right shoulder, tugging it down toward the floor. Full breath to your chest. Out of your belly. Chest breath, inhale. Three sips of air. Belly breath, exhale. Last round, chest breath in, three sips of air, hold for five, four, three, two, 
one. Exhale all of the way out. Ring yourself out like you're wringing out a sponge, like you're wringing out anything that you've held onto for years. Let it go. Inhale, bring your gaze and your legs back to center of the room and counter stretch. Hmm. As you're ready for the second side, right leg along. Hug your left knee into the left side of your ribs. Give it a solid squeeze into your armpit. Stay for a breath in. Squeeze tighter with your exhale. Inhale, bump your hips to the left side of the room. And exhale, take your leg across to the right. Keep your left shoulder anchored on the mat best you can. Fill your chest with your inhale. Belly exhale. Chest inhale. Three sips of air. Belly exhale. Last round, fill up. Three sips and hold. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Exhale all the way out. Press until there's no air left. Press, 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 press. And inhale, bring your gaze and your legs back to center of the room. Counter stretch in any way that feels good to you. And we have a minute of free time here. If there's any other posture that's calling your name, maybe reclined pigeon, maybe shoulder stand, plow pose, some extra core work. If you didn't get enough, go through whatever it is that you need. If you are choosing shoulder stand or plow, just be sure to keep your gaze straight up and down so that our neck stays happy. We don't like to create compression in our neck and then engage in a twist. Another 30 seconds or so if you're still exploring. If there's anything else that you need from your practice or to set yourself up for Shavasana, go ahead and find those things right meow. And as you feel ready, we'll make our way into Shavasana, but there's no rush to get there. To finish our practice, I'd like to guide you through a simple meditation that involves our breath, awareness, and visualization. I'm going to ask you to breathe into your feet. Now, obviously, our feet don't have mouths or nose, so we can't physically breathe into them, but imagine that you're pulling air in through your feet up to the top of your head. And then with your exhale, we'll breathe back out of our body, out of our feet. So with your next inhale, fill from your feet to your calves, to your quads, your glutes, your chest, the top of your head. And exhale, top of head to chest, to hips, to thighs, calves, out of the bottoms of your feet. Again, inhale through your feet, ankles, knees, hips, chest, shoulders, neck, top of head. Exhale, top of head all the way back down and out your feet. One more round. Just allow yourself to rest and absorb the benefits of your practice.
shift your attention to the rise and fall of your belly, of your chest. Begin to deepen your breath. If your body is asking for more time to rest, please feel free to lay as long as you have time for. If you're ready to start moving again, bring gentle movement into your fingertips and toes, into your hands and feet, <clears throat> into your arms and legs. We'll take a gentle stretch for the front and back of the room. And hug your knees into your chest. Rock forward and back on your spine. And then slowly find your way into a seated position. Maybe we maintain closed eyes here, just as we find our way back to consciousness. Let the back of your hands rest on your knees. Bring point your finger and thumb to touch. Lengthen your spine and relax your neck and your shoulders. As we carry on into the rest of our day, what can we leave behind on our mat? What have we been holding on to? Thoughts about ourselves or about the world? Emotions regarding stories that we have been through? Or maybe it's physical tension that is preventing us from living our life as happy as we can. What can we let go and leave behind so that we can emerge and be the fullest version of ourself? What weeds can you pull from your garden so that you can be the most beautiful, bright flower that you're meant to be? With your next inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Gather up the positive energy you have generated in the practice and draw hands to heart center. Take a full breath into your heart. Open mouth, exhale. Acknowledge yourself, inhale. Thank you for showing up, namaste. namaste. I appreciate you making time for your body and for your mind because you are not the only person that feels the effects of your yoga practice. This sense of lightness or open-mindedness or contentness that you might feel radiates larger than you might think. It goes to the people surrounding you. It goes to your loved ones. It goes to the people that you run into at the supermarket, even to the people that you run into on the interwebs. They all feel the effects of your yoga practice. So thank you for making this world a beautiful place to be in by working on yourself first. Namaste. We'll see you soon. Bye everyone, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. And if you have any questions or feedback, put them either in the comments or email them to info at soul19yoga.com. I love you and I can't wait to see you in person. Until then, we'll just keep connecting this way. Um, and if you wanna do some arm balances and inversions, Tam and I are running a workshop today from one to three. Um, it's all levels, so there's no need to have an inversion practice already. Um, you guys will be nicely warm for it, but we'll do more warming up, some drills, and breakdowns of lots of postures. So if you want to join us for that, you can sign up through my body. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon. Thank you again. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Dean. You too, buddy.